Hi everybody. I had a question about a top line for a show dog. So the, the question, the issue was that there was longer hair right here that was kind of wavy and it was causing a lump right here. And um, I tried to describe in words what to do, but I want to try to express it in video form a little bit. Now, this camera angle's a little different. Um, I've put it where my mirror normally is. So looking at you through the camera lens is how I would normally look at this top line through the mirror that's actually behind the camera. And this is why I use a mirror. So that I can get down right at the level of the top line. And I'm not just looking at it from the distance from my eyes to the top line. I'm looking at it past that, in this case from the camera, and my mirror is even farther back, so I'm also looking at it through the mirror. And what that does is that allows me to see the top line from as if it was farther away, which helps me know more about what to pull. So when we get bulges in the top line right around here, it can be really delicate and we need to be really careful. You wanna be really conservative. This is a good time for finger plucking or using a tool like this particular stone has a point on it. So I can be very deliberate about which hairs I'm gonna pick. I could also use a stripping knife with a fine tip on it so that I have a lot of control. Again, control over what I'm pulling. And if you have a knife you're really comfortable with, you might be able to use it in that kind of fine, fine way. So what I want to see is I want to see the nice slope, kind of like a ski slope from the back of the head, down the neck and into the top line. We have this nice slope right here. It helps square up the dog and looks real nice. When you have this kind of bulging, in this, in the particular instance that this person, there were waves in the coat too, and the temptation, the, the question was, should I fix the waves? And my answer was, what does the top line look like? And that's how we found the bulge. And the way to address it is by picking at the top line and seeing how the top line changes. Now his top line, I groomed him fairly recently, so his top line doesn't have much in the way of a bulge in it, but you see where the light is on the salt and pepper? For whatever reason, the hair often grows a little faster there, so sometimes this area needs a little more work. So if there's a little bulge, I'm just gonna pick one or two, maybe three times, and then I'm gonna look again right at the level looking at it first at the, at the level close to my eyes, then past it to the mirror, to the camera. And if I see another bulgy spot, then I say, okay, well, let me pick at that a little bit. And sometimes your eye is deceived and you're not actually seeing it as clearly close up. So sometimes I literally look past the dog into the image in the mirror and find the bulge by looking at the mirror. Sometimes that helps me because it's showing the top line from the other side. I can see what looks bulgy on this side, but with the mirror or the camera, I can see what looks bulgy on the other side and maybe pick at it a little bit. Now, how much I pick is gonna depend on how much coat is underneath. And I'm gonna determine that by lifting the the hair up and I'm going to see if there's uh, hair breaking the surface of the skin close to the skin. If there is, then I know I have some coat growing in, but if there isn't, then I really need to be extra careful about what I pull because depending on the last time you pulled the area, it may take up to six weeks for new hair to sprout and another in this area, another two to four weeks for it to be like a useful length. So I'm gonna be really careful about picking 
the top line, picking at a bulge. Like I said, he doesn't really have one, but we're pretending he does. And you're gonna be really careful about picking very randomly so you don't put a hole in. And you're gonna check frequently after just two or three pulls every time. I didn't believe that at first either, so I won't be surprised if you don't. But when you find you've put a hole in because you went one too many times, you'll be like, ah, oh, okay. And then that's how we learn. That's why mistakes are not really a problem. They're a stepping stone to doing better in the future. So looking at this top line, I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks, Light. And, you know, this is a place where you might be able to card a little bit to get some undercoat. I don't card down the top, but down the sides to get a little bit smoother finish here. And depending on your timing, how long you have until you show, how long it's been since you stripped the area last, how much you stripped the last time, all of that will come into play for how much work you can do in an area without creating too much risk of putting in a hole that's gonna be worse than the bulge you had. So remembering that you can always take more hair off, but you can't put it back on, be conservative, but this is how I work the top line. Oh, and by the way, this area right here, always the very last part of the jacket that I work on when I'm show prepping, when I'm show grooming, because it's the most precise. It's the part that needs to be done the most carefully and you need to do everything around it first to know what you need to do here. Okay, I hope that's helpful. See y'all later. Thanks, buddy.